Round Whole Numbers In 2013, the U.S. Census Bureau reported the population of the state of New York is 19,651,127 people. It might be enough to say the population is approximately 20 million. The word approximately means that 20 million is not the exact population, but it is close to the exact value. The process of approximating a number is called rounding. Numbers are rounded to a specific place value depending on how much accuracy is needed. 20 million is achieved by rounding the millions place. Had we rounded to the 100,000th place, we would have 19,700,000 as a result. Had we rounded to the 10,000th place, we would have 19,650,000 as a result, and so on. The place value to which we round to depends on how we need to use the number. Using a number line can help you visualize and understand the rounding process. Look at the number line in the figure below. Suppose we want to round the number 76 to the nearest 10. Is 76 closer to 70 or 80 on the number line? Well, you can see here that 76 is closer to 80 than it is to 70. So 76 rounded to the nearest 10 is then going to be 80. Now let's consider the number 72. So if we find 72 in a figure here, here's our 72. And we can see that 72 is closer to 70. So therefore 72 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. Now how do we round 75 to the nearest 10? We're gonna find 75 in figure 1.9. So the number 75 is exactly midway between 70 and 80. Now, so that everyone rounds the same way in cases like this, mathematicians have agreed to round to the higher number 80. So 75 rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Now that we have looked at this process on the number line, we can introduce a more general procedure. To round a number to a specific place, look at the number to the right of that place. If the number is less than 5, you round down. If it is greater than or equal to 5, then you round up. So for example, to round 76 to the nearest 10, we look at the digit in the 1's place. So 7 is in the 10's place, and then 6, if we look at 6, the number that's underlined, it is greater than 5. Now, the digit in the 1 place is 6, and because 6 is greater than or equal to 5, we increase the digit in the tens place by one. So the seven in the tens place becomes an eight. And now replace any digits to the right of eight with zeros. So therefore 76 rounds to 80. So again, take a look at this step here. We're gonna add one to the seven. So seven plus one gives us eight. And then we're gonna change all the numbers to the right of that to make it zero. So we're gonna replace that number with zero. So therefore, 76 rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Now let's look again at rounding 72 to the nearest 10. Again, we look at the ones place. So the tens place is the seven and the number to the right is two. And this number two is less than five. So the digit in the ones place is two and because two is less than five, we keep the digit in the tens place the same and then replace the digits to the right of it with zero. So 72 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. So again, here is our example. We have 72. Now, since this two is less than five, then we're gonna keep the seven the same. We're not gonna add one, and that's gonna be seven. And then we're gonna replace the numbers to the right of seven with the zero, so therefore we get 70. So, how to round a whole number to a specific place value? Step one, first you have to locate the given place value. All digits to the left of that place value do not change unless the digit immediately to the left is a nine, in which case it may. And we'll see in step three. In step two, 
you underline the digit to the right of the given place value. Step three, to determine if this digit is greater than or equal to five, if it is, yes, then you add one to the digit in the place value. If that digit is nine, you replace it with zero and add one to the digit immediately to its left. If that digit is also a nine, then you repeat that process. Now, if the number is not greater than or equal to five, you do not change the digit in the given place value. Now, once you've completed step three, in step four, you're gonna replace all digits to the right of the given place value with zeros. Okay, so let's take a look at our first example. We wanna be able to round 843 to the nearest 10. So let's take a look at the number 843. Okay, so we need to locate the tens place. So the number in the tens place is four. Okay, now we're gonna underline the digit to the right of the tens place. So we have eight, four, three, and then what we're going to do is we're going to underline this number to the right of the tens place. Now, if that, since three, this value of three is less than five, you do not change the digit in the tens place. So therefore, this becomes eight, four, and then three. Okay, and then recall, replace all digits to the right of the tens place with zeros. So we have our eight, we know the four is in the tens place. So that means that this three now is now gonna replace with a zero. And so therefore rounding 843 to the nearest 10 gives us 840. Okay, let's take a look at another example. We wanna round each number to the nearest 100. In this case here, we have the number 23,658. So let me go ahead and write that in here. So we have 23,658. Okay, and we wanna locate the hundreds place. So where is the hundreds place? Well, the number in the hundreds place is the six. So that represents the hundreds place. Okay, now what we wanna do is to the right, or the digit to the right of the hundreds place is five. So we have two, three, six, five. So the number to the right of that six is five. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna underline that number, okay? And now what we're gonna do is since five is greater than or equal to five, we're gonna round up by adding one to the digit in the hundreds place. So let's go ahead and write this number down. So we have 23,658, okay? And so what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take this one and then we're gonna add it to the six. So we're gonna add one to the six, okay? And then we're gonna replace the numbers to the right of that which are five and eight with zeros. So therefore, we're gonna replace with zeros. And so therefore, now we're gonna get the following result. Okay, rounding this, well we have two, three, we have to add the one to the six, which makes this a seven, and then replacing the five and eight with zeros. And therefore, the value that we rounded, which was 23,658 rounded to the nearest hundred is 23,700. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Okay, we wanna round 3,978 
to the hundreds place. So we have our number 3,978. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to locate the hundreds place. So we can see here that the nine is in the hundreds place. Okay, and now what we want to do is we're going to underline the digit to the right of the hundreds place. So we have 3,978 and the number to the right of that number is seven. Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to write down our number 3,978. Okay, and so the digit to the right of the hundreds place again is seven. Since seven is greater than or equal to five, we're gonna round up by adding or added one to the nine. So let's go ahead and write this information. So there's our nine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one. Okay, so keep in mind that nine plus one is gonna equal 10. Okay, so what that means is we're gonna write zero in the hundreds place. And once we do that, then we need to add one to the thousands place. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that we do that here in our next step. So we have, in addition to that, within our next step, okay, we also know that since we are rounding in the hundreds place, the numbers directly to the right of that are gonna need to be replaced with zeros. So we are gonna replace those two numbers with zeros, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that we had to add one to the nine, which gives us 10, which then means that we need to add one to the thousands place. So three plus one is gonna give us four. We know that the nine here becomes a zero and we're replacing the other two values with zero, so therefore, we end up getting 4,000. So 3,978 rounded to the nearest hundred is 4,000. Okay, next, we wanna round each number to the nearest thousand. So let's take a look at this number here. We have 147,032. So let's go ahead and write that number down. So we have 147,032. So what we want to do is we want to locate the thousands place. And so the number in a thousands place is seven. So therefore there is the thousands place. Okay, now the digit to the right of the thousands place is zero. So we have 147,000 32, so we need to underline the value of zero. Now, since zero is less than five, we do not change the digit in the thousands place. So we have 147,000, okay, 32. But what we need to do is we need to replace the numbers to the right of that zero since we are rounding with zeros. So we still need to replace 
those values with zeros. So therefore, we end up getting the following. We get 147,000. So 147,032 rounded to the nearest thousand is 147,000. Okay, and let's take a look at our last example. We have 29,504. So we're going to locate the thousands place. So we have 29,504, and we know the 9 is in the thousands place. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to underline the digit to the right of the thousands place. So we have 29,504, so we're going to underline the 5. Okay, and so now the next step is, is that we have the digit to the right of the thousands place is 5. So we know that since that is 5, and we know that 5 is greater than or equal to 5, so we have to round up by adding 1 to the 9. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our 9. And then we want to add 1. So when we add 1 to the 9, it's going to give us 10. Okay, which means that we need to write a 0 in the thousands place. Okay, and since there's a 0 in the thousands place, then we need to add 1 to the tens thousands place. So we need to add 1 to the ten thousands place, which means 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Okay. Now recall that in all the numbers to the right of the thousands place here, we will need to replace with zeros. So we're going to replace with zeros. And so therefore, we know the two becomes a three, we know the thousands place is now a zero, and then the other following numbers are zero and zero and zero. So 29,504 rounded to the nearest thousand is 30,000.